trying to get this transplant done, so hopefully it's not much longer. There have been more than two dozen face transplants since the first one in 2005. This one, uh, according to the surgeon, is by far the most extensive in the terms of how much tissue uh, was placed on the patient. The patient here is a 41-year-old former volunteer firefighter from Mississippi. Uh, he was injured in 2001. He's burned badly when a roof collapsed on him in a burning home. The donor is a 26-year-old man from Brooklyn. He was an artist and also an avid uh, bicyclist, uh, competitive bicyclist. He was a registered organ donor, and uh, so that sort of paved the way for this uh, surgery to happen. First, a donor surgery, which entailed recovery of facial tissue. Second, the recipient surgery, which required removal of injured facial tissue. And finally, the allograft inset with the actual transfer of the donor face to the recipient. The procedure that was performed on Patrick is critically important in that, number one, we transplanted functional eyelids, which is important for the preservation of Patrick's vision. Secondly, the amount of tissue that was transplanted had not been transplanted f before. So in addition in, to protecting his vision and giving him normal eyelids, we also wanted to restore his appearance. But removing the scars and placing new tissue to allow him to express normal expressions like smiling. How do you think they'll react? Do they, do they have their own ways of They have their own ways. It's important to they can touch you, so we'll see how they, how they do. I just got excited to see them. I got to see them, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You've waited a long time for this. Yeah, real long time.